What is going on, fellow Wastelanders? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out some Crossout Mobile. I want to share with you guys my starter builds that I've I've created, or my starter build that I am building up, and also some tips and tricks on building. It's how you can kind of make your life much easier if you're just starting out in Crossout Mobile. Maybe these tips might be new to some of the more mid intermediate players, but yeah, we're gonna get right into this video. We're checking out some PvP now farming up some batteries so we can expand this build now this is a walker there they give you these starter walker legs uh, when you start the game they're a little sluggish getting uphill but once you get up to cap it is game on the damage that this build can deal is awesome and the guns are super protected super protected hit that energy booster done deal oh my god uh, this is using the photon cabin which you get I believe for free for completing the engineer event I upgraded from the pilgrim cabin I have I still have my old Pilgrim version to show you guys, so if you're literally day one, you can rock almost the identical build with just a different cabin and uh, slightly less weapons, uh, slightly lower tier weapons instead of the, here we are using the synthesis, we'll use the algorithms for the very first day build. Here we got some dogs on us, we just gotta be a little jukey here, the dogs are gonna push me up, we got some defenses on the bottom, and again, our guns are mounted to the side, so we are able to aim down, we need to try and focus out. This guy, they're probably going to cab me before they get my guns. I think I lost a leg. Did I lose a leg? Boom! He's on fire. Oh, that was that was close. Take advantage of this crash. Can we take advantage of this crash? Alright, we were 3v1 in here. We are coming out. Are we coming out on top? That is insane. I actually was worried for a second. I'm still worried. This, this guy is a bit... Pop our energy boost. Heat him up. Heat him up. Is he on fire? No, I am on fire. I am the one on fire here. I gotta take his guns, really. I like to go for cab with this because we're just heating up cab, but he's going to get us here. Oh my god. Oh my god. We did it. 3v1. This is how I made the best starter build in Crossout Mobile. Yes! Oh, we gotta get up the cap again. We're just a little sluggish with the legs, you know. These legs are just, they're, they're a little sluggish. We've, we've fixed it with the Razorback engine we got on top there to give us a little bit of extra cabin power. Boom! Get this last one out. Oh, done deal, brothers. Let's go. I've been literally playing cross on mobile for like a week. Bro, 2,200 points. MVP, 3v1 in the dogs. Dude, the bumpers on the front just held them back. They couldn't get underneath me. Dude, look at look at that score. 2,200. The highest scoring player under us was 800. We had 32 bonus reward for that. So they do give you more rewards for uh, having a better efficiency, I guess. Bonus rewards for efficiency, which is pretty, pretty cool. So this build is insane. I'm going to share with you guys some building tips and tricks of how I made it. Uh, might make your guys' life a little bit easier if you're just starting out on Crossout Mobile. So let's check out these uh, these mech builds that I put. So this is the original start build I came up with it's 4700 power score uh, it is using the pilgrim cabin they give you all this stuff in the beginning if you choose the mech option and I believe you can unlock it uh, through various uh, through various tech trees later anyway but so it's using the pilgrim cabin they give you the three white algorithm uh, weapons there now I had their weapons on top of the cabinet first but they were just getting shot off a little bit easy so I decided to flip them sideways and mount them on the side of my cabin now also as you've seen in that round dogs when they get under you if your weapons are mounted on top of your cabin they might not all be able to fire down so having the weapons side mounted like that I was able to actually shoot down at the dogs even if they're on just one side of me I can still shoot that one weapon down which is really nice and then we use shoot through parts so these small buggy floors have I believe 60% percent of shell pass through so we connected those guys I believe it's connected to a point on the cabin I believe let me just double check you see that are connected straight to the buggy part. yep so we actually connected that to right there to the back of the cabin to give it the uh, most protection obviously the cabin is the most durable part of your build uh, so we did that and then we put our, the biggest pieces of armor we could the canvas roof is all we had on each side to protect our guns so if someone's on the side of us they have to chew through that armor uh, now one thing about cross out mobile versus the cross out the full version is all these armor pieces are substantially more durable 370 durability I mean this, this canvas roof on the side 
it's 460 durability so oftentimes players will have to eat through that durability before they're getting to your guns now the front of your build uh, what you want to do is put bumpers, bumpers, bumpers. I put a buggy bumper on there, 613 durability. It's resistance to ram damage. I even notched out a section in the front there. If you can if you can notice, uh, I had a bumper hanging down. So this bumper here is connected to the frame. Turbulent River, 827 durability. Now this is meant to let dogs just ram straight into me. And then that bumper just scrapes the hell out of the front of their build dealing ram damage as they try to be the aggressors in the match and then you're able just to strafe right off of your opponent oh yeah there is a, a energy power supply module in here so this will increase the charging rate of plasma weapons uh, combat lasers uh, and rail guns by 35 percent for three seconds so as soon as they're locked into your crosshair just pop that perk boom enemies done this is the hardcore engine now uh, eventually i upgraded as you as you progress you just want to upgrade so I started upgrading right here's the upgraded version i'm even i'm working to improve this one even more as soon as we get a generator it's going to be on brother so we unlock the photon uh cabin if we actually go to events i can show you guys how i unlocked it this is totally free to play so far uh they what what hey i i wanted to show people anyway there's these events and there was the engineer event which is like a starter event it gives you a photon cabin in that event so I decided to just run with it, you know, the whole free to play aspect of it. So the photon cabin in mobile, uh, it's a plasma weapons and Tesla emitters heat up parts on hit. The heating from combat lasers is amplified. So all of our, our synthesis, our algorithms, our helios, any of those energy weapons will start to heat up parts. And I figured heating up parts on hit, that's just going to benefit our team. Little did I know how much damage it does. If you can just lock onto the cabin or weapons, you can strip the hell out of people quick, but you can just melt cabins. So once we upgraded to the photon, we had a little bit more energy. We were upgrade, we were able to upgrade from the algorithm, the basic white energy weapons to the synthesis on the sides. And then we still have one algorithm all the way up top there, uh, the, protected with, of course, uh, the buggy bumper. We added some more durable parts on both sides, the narrow wing, on both sides now one thing i'm actually working towards because i have way i have a tons of extra weight on this build so we had the trophy road we can see my progress here i'm actually working on scavengers uh, i want to unlock these side panels really really durable insanely durable uh, side panels down here and the, potentially the colossus engine because that's going to be replacing my razorback oh yeah there they are so these container walls with 774 durability with a bunch of other resistances like kinetic damage resistance resistance to frag damage so once i unlock these it's going to elevate my build making it even more durable uh for sure and then another upgrade that i'm working on is i'm progressing my dawn's children faction so potentially i can put some prometheus on these bad boys so i can get those synthesis upgraded to prometheus which has a special perch perk each subsequent shot in the burst deals five percent more damage and stacks up to five times so as you see in that match i was grinding out some batteries we need 3700 batteries we almost have enough batteries for our pr first prometheus we have the synthesis we have the wasp we just need to get our levels going and then we're gonna have a pretty a pretty decent build i don't know once i push past the 6k power score uh what it's gonna mean in cross out mobile so far it's been looking at my profile i mean 63 mvps out of 66 battles won this build these builds mech builds are insane unstoppable uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of these starter mech builds uh, i appreciate you guys watching the content check me out live every wednesday and sunday playing cross out cross out mobile all kinds of fun games thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video